Hi, this is Fem for Heisman Vitae here in London. Now we're on our way to go and meet Ben Gorham, the master of scent, who founded by Radio back in 2006. Got a few fans, including Naomi Campbell, Virgil Abloh. Okay, so we're like 50 meters away from the store, 40 Lexington Street. Let's go. I can smell it from here. So we're here with Ben Gorham at Barredo. You can be a former basketball player, then go on to art school, and then go on to create one of the most sought after perfume brands, all by the age of 31. It started relatively, I was kind of naive. I come out of sports, as you said, and I grew up uh, most of my life in Canada and in the States. Uh, so I played basketball pretty much most of my life. Uh, and when that didn't work out, I went back to art school in Stockholm. Uh, and then I met a perfumer by chance, and we had a discussion about the creative possibilities of smell. And what is it that made you think, this is what I want to focus on? Well, I think, you know, initially I was fascinated by the connection between smell and memory, which a lot of people have. And in that process, this uh, obsession grew. Uh, and then seeing people's response to the smells that I'd made was amazing. And first scent you made? The first scent I made was, uh, it was called green, and it was the way I remember my father smelling as a child. There is a way to Murakami. Tell me about how you went about meeting Murakami. Uh, there's a way to most people. I met him at a show, I think. In Europe, there's a really nice, between Paris and London and Milan and you know a lot of other cities, there's a lot of creatives, yeah. a lot of young creatives that are sharing ideas. Within that context, you know, you meet a lot of people and, uh, and people are really supportive and there's a lot of dialogue about uh, creativity. Is the Virgil Abloh Off-White by Radio collaboration started a long time ago, right? Probably eight or nine years ago. Uh, Virgil and a friend of his came into uh, my store in Stockholm. Virtually always talked about collaborating in some form. Uh, and I think, you know, about a year ago with the maturity of um, our brands, yeah. respective brands, we were able to come together and get our teams together to make interesting products. I don't think that when I started, I'd imagine it would be this big. Is it wardrobe before scent or scent before wardrobe? Good question. It really depends on who you are, because what I've found over the years is that people buy scent in two ways. Um, the more traditional, which is like signature scent, in tune with you know your character and, and values mm -hmm. and then this idea of the scent wardrobe which is uh, buying scent to express emotions or moods or styles is there a real way to spray when we got into fragrance there was so much it was a really like old industry there was a lot of pedigree and a lot of rules of what to do and what not to uh, and by was really about this kind of uh, inclusive idea and because if smell was so subjective mm -hmm. so in terms of your question there's no real there's no way. real you know perfect way to, to apply fragrance so wait there you know when you you look at all of these and you think about them can you think of the smell in your head yeah, pretty you much. Can. I would have probably panned you for gypsy water gypsy water does it have cinnamon in it? Mm, not really. What does it have in it? It's got, uh, it's got a pepper. Okay. Like a Szechuan pepper, which smells a bit like the cinnamon. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It's lovely to meet you. Good to meet you. And good luck with the rest of your day. It's got a busy day. Yeah. Thank Real you. Busy. Thanks for coming by.